Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I don't think I've ever been more excited to film a YouTube video than I am to film this one right now. This is a haul from Vintage Chic Sense. Now, I've made one video from Vintage Chic Sense. I will link it down below. Kirby, she is a fellow YouTuber, well, was a fellow YouTuber. Vintage Chic, Vintage Chic 1927. I love Kirby. I've known her for years and years and years. We made YouTube videos back in the day when we were, um, we were like, I don't want to say we were YouTubers together, but we were YouTubers together. We filmed videos, lush hauls, candle videos, all kinds of stuff. She loved all things vintage and wanted to create a wax company. Now these are all just tarts. There's no candles in her company, but all tarts. And I placed one order. She opened January of 2014. Placed one order. I loved the stuff. I just really got out of vendor wax. I got out of, you know, out of candle, out of wax from Yankee, Bath and Butters. I moved on to more luxury brands, Diptyque, Byredo. I still love all those candles, don't get me wrong. But I want to get back into the vendor community. I love supporting local friends and families and all kinds of stuff. So I said, I'm going to place another Vintage Chic Sense order. Why well, I didn't realize her stuff is so hard to get. You have to join her Facebook group, Vintage Chic Sense. I'll link all this stuff down below. Add yourself to the group. One day a month, she opens her website. Just one day. So she pours stuff all month long, takes pictures, tells you what she's pouring. Doesn't tell you how many, just tells you how much. And then she'll give you a date and a time that... She'll put everything on the website. It is craziness. Like, she, you figure, everybody, there's like 5,300 people in the group right now. Not everybody places an order. But, it's a lot of people that are going to be ordering from one person. Well, she has a team, but it's still, it's one company. Lots of stuff. So, I knew I wanted to place a big order, and this is a big order. <laughs> um... I actually have this video and then I have three smaller um, orders as well. So you place your order, it's $10 flat rate shipping if you get one item or if you get 100 items. It's $10. It's ready to ship because she pours all month long. The only thing, you have to let her stuff sit and cure for a while. So curing means you let it sit. Put it in a drawer, don't look at it, let it cure. Once you pour, even a candle, tart, once you pour it, it smells good, it looks good, but the wax molecules and the fragrance is not fully developed yet. It takes some time to mingle. Just like fine wine, it ages over time. This stuff ages over time. What I, um, people said, like six months to a year. That's a long time. Six months, I can understand. A year, that's a really long time. But at the same time, if you start buying, you know, a couple items every month, you're going to build up a collection. And then by the time, you know, one order comes, the next, the month before his order is done. So I'm going to start placing more orders. So that way I'm able to try lots of different things. Now, one thing with vendor wax, it doesn't look the prettiest. It's just like they just pour it in a cup and that's it. Kirby is all about presentation. Her stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, without showing you my address or anything, I placed a big order. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is her business card, Vintage Chic Sense. It's gorgeous. And then on the back, Kirby Welsh, owner, Vintage Chic Sense at gmail.com, Vintage Chic Sense.com, and her Facebook group. Really, really cool. Love her. So the first thing I got was a sample. You get one two ounce scent shot or scent cup sample per month or per order. This is Jackie O. And Jackie O, I believe, is. I know I have something that has Jackie O in it. Jackie O is marshmallow, birthday cake, and vanilla bean Noel. Her blends are really, really cool. So to me, you can smell the vanilla bean Noel. But it's not the first scent that you've got. That the first scent that you smell. It just smells awesome. Like it smells like the vanilla bean Noel, a little bit of bakery from the marshmallow, and like a rich cakey scent. It's really yummy. So she will do like a scent Jackio, and then she'll do a ton of different um different 
forms. There's a scent that I'm dying to try called the Warrens, which is like a cider lane dupe from Bath and Body Works, and it's called the Warrens Visit Jackie O, and it's those two scents combined. So really, really, really cool. So that's my sample. I'm trying to think of where I'm going to put stuff. Um, I have a lot. I'm going to do this at 20 minutes and cut it off and then film the rest because there's a lot of stuff. So what I'm going to start with is the loaves. So her stuff, it's different with the scents. Like Jackie O. Would you know it's Marshmallow Birthday Cake Vanilla Bean Noel? No. So what I did is I took little... Um, I'm trying to think of which one's the best. Okay, I'll show you this one. So this one, for example, I put the scent description and I typed it out on a label and I'll zoom in soon but I typed in the scent description on a label and I stuck it on the back of the bag it comes with her label the name of the scent and when it was poured fresh this one was poured fresh on 6 one so June of next year technically is like when people say it's great or June what's six months from June June to July July to August August to September November to so January so January is when it's like perfect but you can melt it whenever um what I say, um, like I said, I put the scent description. If it's a blend between two, I'll put the first scent description, a slash, and then the second scent description. That way I know what it is. So this guy is one of her, it's called a Boardwalk Loaf, and it is Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again Embeds with Jackie O Overpour. Poured fresh on 525.17. I'm going to take this out of the bag. So the description is Wildberry Mousse Marshmallow Zucchini Bread. That is Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again. And then Jackie O's Marshmallow Birthday Cake Vanilla Bean Noel. So embeds are the pieces. Like this is an embed. So they put big embeds of different of the scented wax. Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again. And then once all the embeds are in, they'll pour Jackie O on top. So that's how you get the blend of the two scents. Now, would you look at how gorgeous this loaf is? So the Terror Will Never Go Hungry Again is all the orange, and then the gray is Jackie O. But when you open it, you can see the gray is only on the top, and then it's cream. But you can see there are wax embeds all throughout this loaf. Now, this is a huge, huge loaf. This is, well, actually... This is called Deluxe Bar Loaf. This is $35.10. It's expensive, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot of wax. Like, it's huge. I will do a wax loaf cutting video once I discover what is the best way to cut these loaves. People cut these loaves up into smaller pieces with, like, a soap slicer. You put it in the microwave. You do some tricks. I will make a whole video on that for you guys. And every single loaf, you also get a bakery bag, so you can, after you chop it up you can put all the pieces in the bakery bag what I think I'm gonna do is cut half of a loaf cut half put it in the bakery bag and keep the other half in these polypropylene bags polypropylene is a type of plastic I believe it's plastic that wax should go in never keep wax in a ziploc bag the plastic um, gets it sucks all the fragrance out so polypropylene is the way to go oh this smells so good so let me just pop this back in the mold so it's beautiful. I love these loaves. They're gorgeous. And I love the way that these polypropylene bags sound, too. Like when you play with them. It sounds really cool. If Kirby's watching, hi, Kirby. You're awesome. I'm so excited to get these goodies. And then I got one of her smaller loaves. This is just a boardwalk loaf. So the boardwalk ones are the ones that have all the shapes in them. And then the regular boardwalks are... Boardwalks have shapes. Regular boardwalk is this size. Deluxe boardwalk is like double the size. So this one is 15 minutes of fame in beds with Fred and Wilma overpour. So 15 minutes of fame is pomegranate fruit loops. And Fred and Wilma is fruity pebbles, rice crispy treats, and gooey marshmallow. Which marshmallow and fruity pebbles sounds delicious. So if you take a look at this loaf, it has orange wax as the friend of Fred and Wilma. And then the pink, oops are the um, 15 minutes of fame it looks like a creamsicle it's orange with the cream on the bottom and then there's some shapes it looks like a little seashell starfish so really 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 gorgeous this smells just like fruit loops to me all i smell is fruit loops and marshmallow marshmallow is extremely sweet extremely fun candy like i don't get pomegranate necessarily but like i said this stuff has not cured yet 
To me, it just smells like Fruit Loops and marshmallow. It smells delicious, though. Whoops. I always forget that my timer on my uh, computer sleeps at 10 minutes. So we are halfway through. I've only talked about like three items. And then, of course, that came with a bakery bag. And that loaf was $19.10. Next, these are her unicorn loaves. So the unicorn loaves are loaves that are just single poured. There's no fun embeds. It's just one cent poured throughout the whole loaf. In popular sense, in a mass volume. She makes a lot of them. So this month, there was Cheshire's Grin, which Cheshire the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland, which is marshmallow-filled lavender birthday cake, cotton candy frosting, and marshmallow. I can't wait to get her fall scents, if I just have to say. So this is just like a light lavendery purple. Pops out really easily. So just like a light lavendery purple. And the regular unicorn loaves are $17.75. And she does deluxe unicorns too, which are just double the size, the big ones. Oh, this smells so good. To me, it smells like marshmallow lavender. Cotton candy, a little sweet from that cotton candy. Cotton candy and marshmallow don't smell the same, obviously. But I love this. Oh, I love this so much. It's really, really yummy. Mm, it's just like lavender. And her lavender is more like a, I want to say like an herbal lavender, but not like ugh, herbs. But it smells like fresh ground lavender. That's really, really, really yummy. This is going to be so hard not to melt any of this stuff. But it's worth it because you're going to let it sit and cure. And then the other unicorn loaf uh, is Day Tripper. So Day Tripper is marshmallow filled zucchini donut, marshmallow birthday cake, vanilla bean noel. And this guy is like like a light Mountain Dew yellow. It also has some pink glitter on it. All of them have glitter for the most part. But check that out. And ah, oh, zucchini scents are something that I love. Every vendor, I love zucchini scent. And this is very strong on the zucchini. And then it has like that Jackie O, that marshmallow birthday cake with vanilla bean Noel. Just like a sweet scent that has the zucchini, which I love. Zucchini is so good. I love this. And these are like a nice little size. These loaves are nice too. The jumbo ones are huge. Doesn't that sound so satisfying though? The polypropylene bags? And polypropylene is fun to say too. Who am I kidding? So next, I'm going to go ahead and do... Um, we'll do all the individual stuff first. And like I said, all of those... Those were four loaves I ordered. I got four bakery bags. I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of the bakery bags. So next... I am going to talk about her Blossom Bars. So her Blossom Bars are, they come in a bag like this. This one is called Twinkies Cafe, which is simple. It's fresh picked strawberries and Twinkies. I'm not gonna pull everyone out because they all look the same, but there's three bars like this. And these are big bars. Like they look small in my hand, but they're really, really large. So this scent smells, I love fresh picked strawberry scent. I think fresh picked strawberries is so good. Strawberries are my favorite fruit. And then you get a little bit of that bakery yellow cake of the Twinkie. It's really, really cool. I love this. Now I've heard that people cut this into fourths. And I also hear that people cut these like diagonally into thirds. I don't know yet. A thing is like, oh, I have a larger room. I'm going to use a bigger piece of wax. It'll suffocate the wax if you put too much in. Only use a little bit and maybe change it halfway through the day if you need to. To me, I use, for like this size, I, will, I would probably use like a fourth in my bedroom and change it. At, like I will turn it on as soon as I wake up in the morning. And then when I wake up the next day, I will dump it out, wipe it out with a paper towel, and then put a new scent in. So it lasts like 24 hours. That's for it. So you get three of those, and this was thirteen eighty five for three of those bags. And I love bakery bags. I think bakery bags are so cute. 
Then this is a new product this year, or this month. It is called Chantilly Shatter. Um, she had people guess the names, like what she wanted to, to call it. And people love the name Chantilly Shatter. I'm just going to pull out four pieces to show you. This is a good size. So essentially, these are little pieces of wax. Let me see how I'm going to do this for it to show up properly. Can you see that? It's like lace. And there's a bunch of different shapes in the Chantilly Shatter. So I think she makes a sheet, and then she just breaks it like bark. And this scent is First Lady Kennedy, which is a dupe for Volcano from Anthropology. Yeah. So super sugary sweet oranges, lemons and limes, with some light green notes. Fresh green notes. I love Volcano. I only ordered one because I just wanted to see what it's like. It smells 100% just like Volcano. I love the scent of Volcano, so this is going to be a keeper. This was poured May 31st. Oops. And then I got another Chantilly Shatter, and the Chantilly Shatters are $9.90. $9.90. This one is Cookie Monsters Cafe, which is fresh picked strawberries, sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, and sugar milk. I believe anything that has ca cafe name in it is the strawberry. Because um, Twinkies Cafe had strawberry in it. This one has strawberry in it. Let me get a big piece so you can see. And like this, you can play around and put a few pieces in your warmer. But these are like blue and pink, if you can see. Really, really pretty. And to me, I don't pick up on like any strawberry, really. Very, very... Very light strawberry, I should say. It's in there, but it's very, very light. And then I get a really strong sugar cookie scent. I really want to try her Cookie Monster on its own so I know what that scent by itself is like. But it's really, really delicious. 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 Delicious is delightful and delicious all in one. And I also wanted to show you, without showing my address, she put a little sticker that says, Enjoy Kirby on it. It's really, really cute. So, next 17, what am I going to do? I will do these four packs and then I'll stop. So, people love her four packs. So, what her four packs look like is they are four wax medallions in two different colors. So, this one is Drive In Treats. These retail for $5.30. These go first on the website. People love the four packs. So, that is Saltwater Taffy. Fluffy Marshmallows, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Blue Raspberry Watermelon Icy. So the Saltwater Taffy Fluffy Marshmallows Cotton Candy Frosting is her Midway Treats scent. I'm not going to pull each and every one of these out. I'm just going to do it for this first one since you've never seen them before. So this is what one of her um, medallions looks like. It's a pretty nice size. I would use a whole one of these in my warmer. And then this is what it looks like in the blue. It's a really pretty rose shape. This smells really yummy. I smell the saltwater taffy and the marshmallow and the cotton candy. It's like the sweetness. But then blue raspberry watermelon icy. So a really sugary sweet syrup is what I smell with it. It's really nice. This is like perfectly Tiffany blue. This is beautiful. And, like, you're probably like, he went hog wild on this order. I did, because it was my first time, and I'm really excited. Well, I mean, I've ordered once before, but... This one I was, like, all about. This one's called Jackson, so there's a blue and, like, a pie crusty color, and it's blueberry cobbler pie crust. You know me, I love my blueberry bakery scents, so I knew I would love this. And I do. You pick up on that blueberry right away. But you also pick up on the sweet, sweet pie crust. Which is like buttery and flaky and just delicious. Delight. Delicious. It's delicious. This one is Gatsby. And this is Blushing Peach Champagne. Yum, yum, yum. And it's like the same colors as the Jackson. It's a little bit of a lighter blue. To me, this smells like champagne. It smells very, very bubbly with a little bit of alcohol. 
and a little bit of peach. It's nothing crazy. It's not super, super strong. It's kind of hard to detect. So I'll have to, like I said, over time, I'm sure it will develop into something wonderful. This one is Ruby Slippers, which is Ruby Red Grapefruit, Blood Orange, Sparkling Champagne, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And I love this. I really like this. I pick up on the sparkly champagne and the grapefruit. Oops. That was the 20-minute mark because my computer just went to sleep on me. There we go. Yep, 2028. 20, um, oh, this is delicious. It's delicious. I don't get any of the blood orange or the vanilla bean Noel, but I'm sure in a few months when I pop this in the warmer, I will get those notes. I have four more four-packs, and then I will cut this off and do part two. This one is the Roaring Twenties, which is strawberry coconut cream vanilla wafer pie. See how nice it is to have the scent descriptions on the back? You can always just go in and look, but why don't you just put it on the back? It makes life easier. I pick up on coconut cream and vanilla. Those It smells like a vanilla coconut scent. I don't get any strawberry yet, but maybe over time you will. It's yummy. It is really yummy. The Roaring Twenties. Seal that guy up. So many, so many. Zelda's Memoir, which is Southern Mango Iced Sweet Tea. Really cool, really cool. It's crazy how this smells like sweet tea. It smells just like sweet tea, but a little bit fruity, which is the mango, the little bit of the syrupy to the sweet tea. It's crazy. It's delicious. It's delish. It's delicious. <laughs> oh, um, I'm crazy. I'm getting ready for work. And I was like, I need to film this. This is Westport Wow House. Look how pretty. Bright orange and a little bit of like a bright sun yellow. Peach mango pineapple whipped cream. Oh, I pick up on the pineapple right away. And then as you continue smelling it, you can get a sweet peach, like a candy, almost like a peach ringy peach. And I don't really get any of the mango yet or the whipped cream. It just smells fruity. I mean, whipped cream probably is this little bit of the creaminess in there. It's yummy. I love these four packs. And then one of her signature scents, 1927. This is fresh strawberries, sugar milk, and pink sugar. Everybody knows what pink sugar smells like, I feel... If you've watched my channel for a while, you know what pink sugar smells like. And that's the first note that I pick up on it, is the pink sugar. And But it's not just straight up pink sugar, it's a blend, which is what you can get. I don't smell any of the strawberry milk, or the strawberry or the sugar milk, yet it just smells creamy. So I assume that's what the sugar milk is. I need to try her pink or her milk glass scent, which milk glass is just sugar milk on its own, so I know what it smells like. But that was part one of my Vintage Chic Sense haul. Definitely continue to check on for part two. Bye, guys.